The house was built in 1898 by a man named Archibald Keaton as a gift to his wife, Cora. Oh. Oh. I, I, I can feel these spirits. Oh. Yeah, I tell you. Da, 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 da. Cora Keaton, it's Brenda. I'm here to communicate with you. No. They sold the house in 1920 to a millionaire, Uriah Bloodworth. Yes, that's who I meant! Uriah! Ooh! Harata ta ta! Harata! Ah! Uh-uh! No, he lost the house after the stock market crash. So he broke! He broke, y'all! You know he mad! He mad he had to leave the house! <gasps> It's nothing more evil than a broke-ass man. He's not dead, you idiot. He's alive and well and playing Parcheesi in Florida. Now shut the fuck up and let me get on with the story. Fuck him up, Ray. Anyway, the last owner of the house was a very rich man named Hugh Kane, who built his empire on the blood and sweat of the people of this town. He lived like a king. But he died alone. I don't know about y'all, but it's some shit that he ain't telling us. It's some real evil shit going on in this house, and I can feel it. Wait, it's in this piano. It's in this. Oh, 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 Burns. The guns must have been empty. Get her upstairs. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Don't put it in my body. Don't put it in my body. Maybe this house is possessed. Oh, nonsense. What you just witnessed was psychosomatic, purely self induced reaction brought on by hysteria. Now, why don't you all go and get some rest? Tomorrow. We start testing. <laughs>